All right, welcome, folks. Uh, the Crow trailer is here, so we're going to watch it. This is for the new film. Bill Skarsgård, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I will say, I know what happens in this film. I, I did a leaked video, but it did get taken down by Lionsgate. <sighs> Let's have a watch, shall we? I'm not massively enamoured by any of this, so it is what it is. But let's take a look. Let me. If you've seen it, what do you think of it straight away? It's getting disliked to hell. It's getting absolutely obliterated and obliterated in the comments as well, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But let's take a look. Let's watch the trailer. Bad CGI. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You feel like my person? <laughs> you feel like my person. She's a... That's... What's she's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. I stole things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. Is that what she said? Hey! Shelly! Oh, no! oh, please don't do this! Hey, Aussie. When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. And sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Hmm. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. <laughs> oh, he's just going but back. You're running out of time to save her. Interesting. They're quite quick then. Ooh. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I'm killed you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we have a problem. He came for us. Now, oh, why did he do that? First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. It doesn't look like what you become. Uh you know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. <laughs> There's some fun no, stuff in it. Oh. How many people have you loved? I never be alone. I let. Okay. Right. L let's just talk about this, right? I'm I'm on uh, I'm on the I'm on the angle that ultimately this never should have been made, right? They're damned if they do. They're damned if they don't. If they don't make it. Someone else makes it the rights go somewhere else. Whatever you, whatever way you want to look at it, right? It's just, and you make it, people will rip it apart. The design choice for his face is obviously going to draw comparisons to, um, and you know, in terms of his haircut and what he looks like with the tattoos, it was naturally going to draw comparisons to Suicide Squad's Joker. It's a really dumb decision. <laughs> there are elements of that trailer which were not horrendous the action genuinely looks fun and good and gratuitously gory like you'd want in a movie like this and what i mean by that is a movie where it's revenge motivated so it's a movie which hinges on you buying into the couple and the revenge aspect that is part of the issue though she's a terrible fucking actress her performance here was awful. Just awful. And I guess, you know, it's redeemable because she's going to be killed. So, 
<laughs> you're not going to interact with her that much in, in the film. But, you know, you've got to buy them being a couple. Um, and I'm not going to talk about spoilers or anything like that. You could see, unless they've shown it in the trailer, so you could see some of the aspect of the uh, supernatural element with this guy. So there's a sort of a supernatural element there. Some people will hate that, some people will like it. Fine, whatever. This doesn't look like it's shot particularly badly. You know, it all looks... From a technical aspect, it looks fine. This movie fails on an aesthetic aspect with the crow, with Bill Skarsgård. If you'd called this any other movie, I think people would have enjoyed this trailer. Right, honestly, any other movie, I think people would have enjoyed this trailer. Everyone will compare this to other things, though, the original as well. And that design aesthetic, if you remove that design aesthetic, it would be better than the design aesthetic of Bill Skarsgård. But the action's fun. The action is really fun. Who was this actor? I couldn't quite make out this actor. Who is that? Hold on. I'm literally doing it. Who is that as an actor? I can't tell from the act from the voiceover. I don't run my brains. I'm I'm a bit tired, so I'm not recognising. But I like that aesthetic of where they are. I think that's cool. Sort of like um, it's an abandoned. It looks like an abandoned train yard, doesn't it? Which is an interesting design choice, like a world between worlds before you go to the afterlife, before you depart on your journey. Right? That's quite fun, isn't it? So there's some stuff in here which looks fun. I mean, this uses the rule of thirds really well. Rule of thirds, split the camera into thirds, you know, however you want to do it. Three ways, uh, horizontally, vertically, etc. And it's how you segment a shot. The framing looks quite nice. But just overall, yeah, I, I don't... I just don't care that much about this. And I think it's because it's got that stigma of what it is originally attached to it. Like, this was fun. He gets shot. It's very clearly upping a lot of the gore. The gore's there. And they're playing into it, you know. So he dies immediately. But he immediately comes back. And he's still got the wound there as well. And he's getting healed. Like, that's kind of fun. But she, she's a terrible actress. She's not an actress. She's a singer. Stop hiring singers to do shitty performances in in movies. They absolutely ruin films. But this is quite fun, you know. I killed you. Yeah, you did. That looks like some bad ADR. I killed you. Yeah. That's some weird ADR. You did. We have a problem. Okay. And it looks, like, it looks like at some point he's bleeding black stuff. Because there's a scene here where he gets shot a lot. Look at what you've become. You know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what happened. Yeah, see? Sorry, zoomed in. Yeah, so he's like bleeding black stuff. Uh, some of it's fun, some of it's done. This is never going to, this is not going to do well ever. It's just not. And let's see the comments. Uh, the original had a really gritty look to it. While this says ultraviolence, it looks like it kind of screams more John Wick than Crow. Yes. Part of the Crow is that he's literally supposed to be a dead guy. Instead, this just comes across as a dude of powers that can't die. Yes. But they did allude to that. They said they wanted to make an MCU style world type deal with this stuff so they did actually say that he shouldn't be eric draven they could have just made a new character yes exactly and bill skarsgård is a great actor uh proof that something should just be left alone yes absolutely no reason to call him eric draven yes this is missing all of the atmosphere and style of the original yes i can't argue with any of this stuff you know there's some aesthetics which look okay but a lot of it just falls apart, you know, difficult. 
He throws something in the, at the crowd at, at one point as well. Like here. I don't know. Best part of the trailer was Ozzy Osbourne. Thoughts down below.